You know, whatever I say here is definitely not going to change anyone's mind. But I am. I'm going to pray for your kids and for mine. For when they're out on the roads, that they're safe, that we're safe. How many times do we drive down the road and you can smell pot? from the car in front of you or as it passes you. It's truly amazing to me. I'm like, holy cow, it is so potent. I don't even know how you're in the car with it, but it won't matter with this piece of legislation. You could be driving and smoking it. You could have it in your car and especially the kids. I mean, what we talked about earlier and and not taking it away. And I actually agree with the whole decriminalization of pot and all of those things, but this just goes way too far. And I actually have some constituents that are for it. And when I've talked to them and I tell them the details about this bill, they say, are you out of your mind? Y'all go so far all the time. It's not just about legalizing pot and some regulations. It's always going too far. And as I go, I, I go to the YMCA. We're big YMCA of Waterbury fans. And I talked to, um, there's a preacher, and he preaches in the inner city of Waterbury. There's another minister that runs the largest soup kitchen in the city. There's people that run the homeless shelters. And I talk to them all the time and say, what do you think about this legislation? Every one of them say, absolutely not. Do not do it. And these are people that are in the cities advocating for people in the inner cities, advocating for the youth, and not one has said do it. So with that being said, I will not support this. I won't support it for our kids. I won't, mainly our kids. If you're an adult, you can do what you want. But um, I hope that everybody does stay safe, and I will be saying prayers for all of us. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.